Tobin Anderson is telling his players he's leaving FDU after just one year and a uh, second round tournament run, right, where they had to go through the first four, to go to Iona, the job vacated when Rick Pitino left yesterday for St. John's. And Jeff, I guess the question becomes, as you break this story, um, seemed to happen really, really quick. Is this merely Iona going, who's the hot local coach and we hire him? Yeah, probably. I mean, listen, he just pulled the biggest upset in NCAA tournament history. He didn't win the NEC. He didn't win the NEC tournament. But he did turn around a program that had been uh, really, really struggling lately under Greg Horanda, and he flipped it really quick. Now, he brought some players with him from the D2 ranks to do it, uh, but I think he's shown he plays a fun brand of basketball. He's got energy. He's been successful in the D3, D2 ranks. And to me, I'm for it. I'm all for it. I think it was a good hire by Iona, Iona which I don't think he's going to turn into an East Coast power. But you know what it does? Tim Clues won a lot at Iona. Like, everybody's wanted Iona. Everybody's wanted Iona, Doug. Give me a coach that has it. No, it's, it's a very good job. It's the, probably the best job in that league. Right? That's the, that's the big yeah. Yeah, and that's what you want, right? You you obviously want uh, a, a job in those leagues, in the MAC, that you can win at at a high season. level. And everybody's won there. Everybody's won there, Doug. Yes. So I think, yeah. you know, to me, it was a no-brainer for Tobin An Anderson. I'm yeah. not sure if it was a no-brainer for Iona, but it was. A, I think it was a smart decision to act quickly, too. I, I think he was on their radar previously. Remember that even though nationally we don't pay attention to East Coast D2 hoops, he was yeah. very, very successful. They smashed uh, St. John's once upon a time, several years ago at St. Thomas Aquinas, like smashed them. And you're like, who is that? So I don't think these things happen where you just watch them and, and look, yeah, there's a lot of things going for you, but I think this is style of play that fits relative to how Iona has played with both their past two coaches. He does give them some name pop. And I don't blame him. You know, you and I know FDU. I mean, there's Tough their, job. A, their average attendance this year was 600 people. 600 people. All right. So, All right. and, and, the reason, and the reason their numbers were so bad was, like, look at how many road games that they had to play, how many guaranteed games they had to play. Everyone in the NEC is like, we would be better if we didn't have to play all these ridiculous guarantee games, we could just play like, but, but that's not the way that the business actually works. So the question becomes how many FDU kids go with them and who does FDU hire? And do they go, do they become the, Hey, we're going to go and find the best East coast D2 coach. And then when he leaves, we'll go get the next best DQ, D2 coach and keep that cycle going.